Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we will go over on how to work with related objects. Let's start. Let's say we want to push an account and under that we'll, we want to push a contact for that account or multiple contacts for that account. Um, so first thing we need to do is understand how the contact and account objects are related together in Salesforce. And again, this could be any object with any relationship. In this instance, we will look at the standard field. So the first thing you can do is head over to the setup and search for schema builder and click it. And then you can select which objects you want to work with. So let's say account, we want to see the account and we want to see the contact object. So we can see we have relationship between them and if we will um, hover on the lines, we can see that there is a lookup relationship between a contact to the account. And there is some other relationship here. If I will make it a little bit bigger and try and scroll down here, I can see that the instructor is a lookup to the contact object. Okay, so this is the first thing we can do. Other thing we can do is head over to the contact object. Since the contact is related to the account and I'll do edit object and look at the fields. And the first field I see here, if we can search obviously for a lookup just to find out um, all the lookups that I have on the object. And I can see that the field label of the lookup of my lookup that relates the contact to the account is account name. And the field name is the account ID, which this is what, this is what we're going to be working with. Um, here you can see all the relationships. We don't have any other relationships to the uh, any other object, but if you had um, custom lookups and stuff, you'll be able to see um, everything else here. We can see we have another lookup to an individual object and the, um, the field name is individual ID. It's not relevant to our scenario, but this is how you can um, see the relationships on the object. Another thing you can do is search for Salesforce um, field references. And that will give you the developer guide where you can find any object, for instance, the account, and you can see all the, the standard fields that are on the object. Again, if you have custom lookups and custom master detail um, uh, relationship between objects, it will not show here. And this is not good for custom objects relationships as well. Um, the schema builder will be a great uh, choice for you and also the field uh, the field uh, and relationships and the object is a great uh, uh, way to find out the relationships. So once we have that figured out, now we know that the contact is related to the account by the account ID field, we can start working. So for instance, what we're gonna do here is create account and uh, a contact under that account. So let's start. So I'm gonna put a, a text box here and say, let's say account name And I'm going to put another text box that will say contact last name. Now what we want here to happen is to have two objects created. One is the account and we want to create also a contact and dynamically related to the account that we created. All right, so we're going to head over to our push add objects. So the first object we want to create is the account. So we do create an account and our action is create. We don't need any conditions and we're going to map the fields by first thing we want to map is the account name. And that's the only thing we need to do here. So the account name is mapped to my account name on the form. I'll hit apply and another apply. So I have the account figured out. I, I'm right now creating the account. Every time the user will submit, th there is a new account created. But what happens with the contact? Since we want a contact to be created under that account. So what we're gonna do is add a child and we're gonna select our contact object. And 
All right, so our action is create, very simple, and we're gonna head over and map the field. Now notice this, Form Titan automatically recognized the relationship between the objects. We know that the, the contact is related to the account via the account ID. So Form Titan automatically selected it for you, and what it, what is it doing is mapping the form field number one account, which is our parent uh, push, to the account ID in Salesforce, which is what we want to do. And the second thing that we need to map is the last name. We're going to map it to our contact last name and the form. We're going to hit apply and finish, save, and let's see how this does. I'm going to publish my form and do parent account and child contact. And I'll hit submit and I'll head over to my integration logs. <clears throat> and we can see the account and we can see uh, contact was created. So if I'll hit the uh, account create, I'll see the account and under the related, we can see the child contact. So this is how you um, push a parent and a child together. Another way for this to happen is, for instance, if you would pass in the, the account ID as a parameter and you would create contacts under, or underneath that account. So for instance, if I'll get rid of this field and head over to my push settings and get rid of the account, let's just cancel this. I just wanna get rid of the account. So I'm gonna take the contact away from here and delete the parent and I'll hit finish. And now what I will do is add a hidden. And in this hidden, I'll call this account ID. And let's put a comment on this and say, will be passed via the URL around. Okay, we have this set up. The only thing I need to know here is what's the field ID, in this instance is FLD24. Every um, every field in Form Titan gets its own ID. So, and our hidden here is FLD24, and this is what I need for the URL parameters. The last thing I need to do is go ahead and set up the relationship between the account ID to the contact. So we're gonna head over to our contact push mapping, hit set, and since it's on a nested push, Form Titan doesn't know what to map the account ID, which is the relationship between the contact to the account, what to map it to. So we need to tell Form Titan, I want this mapped to my account ID hidden. I'll hit apply and finish. I'll save this. Now, the only thing I need to do on the form, I'll refresh this, is pass the FLD24 with the account ID that I want to work with. So for in, in, that, in that instance, I would want to work with the, the parent account that I just created. So I'm going to pull the ID from here and pass it as a parameter. And if I will create a new contact, and I'll hit submit, if I'll head back to my account, to my um, parent account and refresh this, I'll see two contacts created. So that's another way to do it. Now, once you're working with, with the URL parameter, you can obviously use get. For instance, we're gonna do um, a text box and then we can basically get whatever information we want from the account. So we can do the account name and in the get, add a get to the account object and and in the condition, very simple, we need the account ID to equal to our account ID on the form which we're passing by the URL. Now we're gonna map the fields, we're gonna do the account name into the account name and apply and finish and save 
And if I'll head back to my published form and I'll refresh it, we're going to get the account name from Salesforce. So that's the get and push. The next thing we want to see is how to get um, multiple records that are under that account. So for instance, we want to bring in whatever contacts we already have and then um, for instance, create new ones. And in that instance, we're just going to um, get, let's say, all the contacts that are under our account. So if I'll delete this, and for instance, at a section, and say to the section, let's throw a text box in there, and we'll do. And it goes without saying that you can add as many fields as you like and map whatever you want from the contact or any other object that you're working with. So we'll head back to our get, and in our get, what we will do is. Let's say we want to get the contacts. So you have two options here, just like we've done before. Either you add a child, so we can get the contact as a child, as a child of the account, since they're related. So you can see that once you do this, Form Titan sets up the condition automatically for you. And the condition here, what it does, it says, the Salesforce field, we have on the contact the Salesforce field name account ID. If we'll head back to the contact definition, object definition, we can see that this is our lookup to the account. This is how Salesforce knows how to relate contact to what account. So form type, and since you're using um, uh, the contact as a child, we recognize that um, that relationship automatically and in the condition, we're telling Salesforce, give me whatever contacts you have that the contact ID it equals my first get, which is the account, and equals to that account ID, which is wonderful. So I don't have to do anything else here. The only thing I need to do is tell Form Titan that I want to get all the matches since I can have multiple matches. And then the only thing I have to do is map my contact last name to the last name and again you can use as many fields as you want here and I'll hit apply and finish and if I refresh this I should get two accounts so we have child contact and contact with Param if I'll go back to my um, account and I'll insert a new contact uh, we'll do third contact manual and I'll save this and I'll head back to my form and refresh I'll get three contacts. Now, another way to do this without using the child method is if I'll head back to my get and remove this, remove this from, from the relationship between them, then we just do it manually. Since we already have the, the account ID hidden and we're passing it in the parameter, the only thing we, we need to do is tell Form Titan what the condition is. So what we want to look for is our account ID, since this is what relates to the account, relates the contact to the account. And I want to, um, I want to make sure it's equals to, do, to my hidden, which is the account ID. So I'll hit apply and apply and save this and head back and refresh and I'll get the same results. So these are the two ways to work with um, related objects. Obviously, it can get more complicated. You can get whatever is, uh, make queries, uh, more sophisticated queries, get a bunch of records depending on uh, multiple IDs and etc. But for this basic demonstration, that will do just fine. Um, another thing I would like to show you is how to see relationships in custom objects. So for instance, if I'll head to my um, form Titan environment and I will search for my objects, let me just see what I have here. Um, let's look for recipe, for instance. Um, let's see what we have on the recipe. And I'll head to my fields and relationships. I don't have any lookups, so this is 
I have only the, the standard lookups, which is to the owner ID. And um, the last modified by, but I don't have any relationships to other objects, to other custom objects. So what I'm gonna do is, in order to reveal what's happening here, so I'm gonna head back to my um, schema builder, clear all, and I'll search for my recipe object and search for, I think ingredient is related to it. And get rid of the account. Okay, so we can see that we have a relationship between the recipe and the ingredient. So um, the ingredient is pointing to the recipe. So if I'll head back to my object, let's just get rid of these. And search for my ingredient and I'll open this up and go to fields and relationships I can see that my lookup is recipe and the API name is recipe C so if I'll go for instance to my builder and let's just get rid of all this and I would want to get a recipe with all of its children so what we will do is um, we'll get a hidden and we're going to say re recipe ID and we're going to head to our get and get rid of this. I'm going to add an object and say I want to get the recipe and my condition will be record ID equals to my hidden recipe ID and then I can start getting children. So if I'll add a child, I can get now the, all the ingredients that are associated with it. So my condition, you can see that Form Titan again did this automatically. It recognized the lookups between recipe and ingredient and it populated it automatically for you. And if you don't want to do it as a child, then if I'll hit apply and map the fields, then I'll get all the all the ingredients that are related to that specific recipe. And again, another way to do this is add this as a separate object. And I'll select the ingredient and the condition. What I'll say is very simple is recipe recipe uh, lookup field equals to my recipe ID, to my hidden, and hit apply, and we're all good. And when I publish this and obviously map some fields in, we'll get all the results um, in there as well. And this is how it's done.